Hey everyone, uh, we're here today to install the pin graphics, the snake mod to re to fill the void over here of the plastics of just the floating snake head which is there. So pin graphics created this plastic mod and laserific I believe that kind of fits in here that replaces you know the old plastic which is this one which I already took off. Uh, and it's replaced with this to make the head fill in with the body, which the color match is really good. And there's a sticker that actually goes up here that completes the tail of this plastic piece of the snake. But um, the problem is that the plastics that came to me, uh, and I believe the plastics that went out to some other people too, that the holes aren't properly drilled out of this piece. So um, what I did was I lined up the old plastic to this piece. And I kind of indicated on a plastic piece of where my hole should be. So I'm gonna, I have a drill press and I'm going to actually drill out the holes so I can complete this mod and install everything back together. So I already took the screws out, but I'll kind of show in the installation once this piece is in where the, how the screws and everything go back in. So I just wanted to take the piece out and do my drilling bef you know, before I did anything. So that's what I'm going to go attempt now and hopefully the plastic doesn't crack and everything will be good to go. All right, so this is my drill press of what I'm going to attempt to drill the plastic with. I bought it at Harbor Freight for like a hundred bucks. It's a really good drill press. I did a run DMD that uh, clock, you know, with the uh, DMD animations with it. I built a frame with it, so that's really why I kind of bought it. I use it for other things as well. But if you notice on the drill bit, this is one of those drill bits that uh, are good for like plexiglass or plastics. It doesn't really tear through the um, the plastic. It kind of like burns through it and you get a better hole in it. Like I said, it prevents like the plexi or plastics from cracking when you use one of these bits. So I bought that actually at Harbor Freight as well. And again, I drilled my whole run the D plexiglass and stuff with it and it turned out really well. So what I'm going to do now is drill out these the plastic piece, create my new holes, and then install the plastic piece back onto the play field. Okay, so I drilled out my holes and everything seemed like it worked okay. No cracking or nothing. So now I installed my stand-ups again that get put back onto the plastic piece. So again, it gets screwed from underneath, and then the, the stand-offs or whatever you would call these the, for, the, um, for the plastic piece to go on here, like the ball protection, so the ball doesn't get stuck up there, goes on top of that. So what we're going to do now is install this back into the uh, pinball machine, and install the components, and then install the sticker on the, um, the actual ramp. So we'll do that next. Okay, so now we're going to put the plastic back on. And it goes something like, and you're probably going to get a lot of arm shots with me having my arm in the way, but it's really the only way I could get in there. But it's going to go something, you know, like this over the head, kind of like that. So what we're going to do now is first put on this, the light housing over here for the flasher. And that goes basically, I believe, into this slot here this big hole and a little part of it goes it gets screwed into this right here so there's a screw that comes down from the top here where my pointer is and then it goes through this housing of the uh, of the flasher housing again my arm is probably in the way but there and then that goes over the screw where the you know where the hole is in the in the housing here and then there's a nut that goes on the other side of this that screws down on that screw you don't want to really tug on anything either you know you only you only have so much really wire to play with here but I mean you have enough to kind of The nut is so small that it's very hard to get a good grip on it. Of course, I put it on upside down. Okay, I think we got it now. So basically now, the screw 
is on there. And then what I do with this part is I just get a pair of like uh, needle nose pliers just to hold the nut down. Because the, 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 the thing is so small. This is probably the hardest part on the whole build right here. Is this. And then you just kind of screw it in. And then you're good to go. So let me screw this nut in and then we'll come right back. Okay, so now I got that nut in. And basically, you want to make sure that that light where you put your flasher goes in that hole, you know, so it's sticking through, so you have enough space to put a, a bulb through that hole. So you want to line it up. Once you, you can tighten all the way down to kind of just push it around, you know. There's still enough um, slack in that nut to kind of go left and right, even if you tighten the thing down to, to spin that thing around. So you should be good. You know, make sure you get your spacers in here, you know, before you put this in. It just makes it that much easier. Um, and then what we're going to do now is put this in place. There's a screw that goes in here where my pointer is. There's like a post. And then there's also the light fl for uh, Sparky that screws into the other side of this. And there's a spacer that goes onto that screw. So, you know, before you take everything apart, again, I kind of tell everybody this and say it again over and over is make sure you take pictures because you might get stuck and then you're like I don't know where it goes so make sure you take some pictures just so you know now what we're going to do is take this plastic piece get my arm is probably in the way but I'll try to get it away take the screw and kind of place it through the hole of the plastic and put it in the post and kind of screw down just to get it you know started and then take your screwdriver and kind of snug it down. You know, don't over torque these things. They crack. The plastics crack. So, you know, you don't want that to happen. And then with the plastic piece here, you want to go the screw kind of goes through the end of this corner here. There's a spacer that has to go kind of in there. And then there's a there's a another post down there that it screws into the screw. So and then just you know find the screw where it snugs down and just tighten that down, swing it around so it points at sparky. And that's it. So it's really easy to take this plastic off. It's just that it's this screw, the screw to the light here for, for Sparky. I had to transfer these posts over from the old plastic to the new. And again, I had to drill holes for that. I think um, Joe and uh, his crew over there are sending replacements out. I'm like, I'll just drill my own. That's fine. I, I feel confident enough to do that. And then here, this I believe is for the ball hang, you know, so you don't get any kind of ball hangs up on the thing. So, uh, just be careful with these screws, you know, like drop it onto the play field. You don't want to have to have that happen. And I have to remember how this plastic goes on. Okay, so I figured out how the plastic goes, and the plastic goes this way with the long part going towards the hammer. So if you take it and kind of slide it under and kind of go more towards the ramp with the big piece, then you'll get it to fit the proper way. But then you just kind of snug one side down. And again, this is a magnetic screwdriver, so it's really good with stuff like this, especially when you got the play field elevated like this. It's not always great to work on the play field like this because if you drop a screw, it's just going to go right to the back and, you know, 
sometimes it goes under the rails and it's a pain to get. So, and again, now we're just going to take this side, put it down, and then we'll take our last screw and washer. And, you know, with the magnetic screwdriver, it's kind of handy just to kind of be able to like steer where you have to go without dropping anything. Okay, so that's that. Tighten down, and that's it. So that's the one part, and now we're gonna put on the uh, the tail, the decal that goes up the ramp, you know, towards the. Oops, sorry. Zoom out. Which goes in here. So we're going to take alcohol and kind of clean off the ramp because I probably have wax on it. And then I'm going to put on the decal. Okay, so now what we're going to do next is take off this plastic, um, I guess, protection over the ramp so it, the ball doesn't jump out of it. And uh, basically there's three screws. There's one, two, three, and I have these, the uh, side rails here, the, the uh, LED side rails. So what I'm going to do now is just take the screw out of this so I could kind of you know shift it around a little bit and then next take off this screw and then we're gonna go for the last screw here so it gives us more room to work with the sticker you know so we apply it the proper way And then we probably have to take off this. And then the plastic should come off and that's it. So I'll, I'm actually gonna clean a little bit under here. It's some, not too dirty, but some wax is on here. And again, I'm gonna clean out with alcohol first. Wipe the ramp down where you're gonna apply the sticker because I'm sure I have wax on there somewhere. So it gets a good, adhere, um, it adheres well to the, uh, to the ramp, to the metal. And, and be careful too, this metal is pretty sharp. On this machine, I cut my fingers all the time when I'm cleaning it. Um, the metal is very sharp, around, especially around these uh, ramps. So be careful if you're you know, cleaning it with alcohol or something like that, that you don't cut your hand or fingers on the, uh, the actual side pieces here. So uh, we'll come back next after uh, I clean the, the ramps with alcohol and we'll show how to adhere the sticker. Okay, so what I started doing was putting the decal on and I adhered it to, you know, the side where the snake tail comes off of uh, the plastic piece over here. And basically what I did was it, um, I just started the one side to be kind of tight to the frame to match up to the body of the snake of the plastic piece. So now what I'm going to do now is just continue putting the, the sticker on and I only went I didn't take the sticker completely off the uh, the the backing of the sticker. I just went this much, like this far, and that's it. And the backing is still on. Like to do this in one piece, you're probably not going to be able to, to me. You're probably not going to be able to do it. Do it in sections. Get this one piece on as close as you could get to this side of the ramp. You know, the inner side here, and then just keep kind of going with it as you you know get out the air bubbles and stuff as you start going. And then um, I'm going to take off the rest of that piece, the backing now and just kind of lay it down into the, uh, the actual ramp here. And again, try to you know, get a nice fit. Go, go slow when you're putting this down because you want to get all the air bubbles out. And, uh, you know, and it gives us some leeway too of, uh, of lifting a little bit if you kind of mess up. But... Uh, But I think it's pretty much it. Just again, just kind of go over it a little bit here. 
and get it, you know, as best that you can. Like I said, get all the air bubbles out of it. Get everything you can. Make sure you got a good stick down with that that vinyl, you know, on on this ramp. And that's really it. So really, that's kind of what it looks like. Uh, let me just get in focus here. Zoom out. Oops. So it's hard to get a complete shot here. But that's kind of how it is. And then it looks really cool. They did a great job. It's a great idea. The floating head was cool, but this makes it even better now. And it makes it look like a real snake. So that's the head, and it continues, you know, onto the plastic, onto the ramp, you know, and onto the, uh, the ending of, you know, the whole ramp. So it kind of just follows all the way to here. So it looks really great. So, and it's really easy to install. Don't forget to put your bulb back in here. I didn't, I didn't put my bulb back in yet. I gotta do that. I'll do that next. That's really, and, and put your post back in in that plastic. And that's it, it's only the three screws and I have that post with this, you know, plastic uh, side rail on here. And that's really it, but again, it looks great. You know, I had to drill a couple holes in line, but it was easy to do. And, uh, you know, Joe and Ping Graphics and Jose and all those guys do a great job. They make great products. You know, I've met them a couple times. They're really, really nice guys. And um, I support them on my page a lot because they make some great things. And uh, I'll continue to support their products. So, uh, and they have great customer support. It's probably one of the best in the business. So, uh, if you like my posts, please keep viewing my, uh, my blog, my website, pinballsupernova.com. My YouTube page, my Twitter page, and you know everything that I have. And again, I really appreciate the uh, the subscribers that I'm getting. I'm getting a good amount right now, and it's really nice to see that these videos people are watching them, and maybe it helps some people out in the hobby. And again, I I make these videos because it's things that I would like to look online that aren't available at all. So again, thanks for the uh, the views and thanks. You know, for all the uh, the support that you give all my sites, I really appreciate it. And um, talk soon. Thanks.
Never saw a snake puke before. <laughs> <laughs>